Hi everyone. My lecture video for today is for teachers who are struggling computing grades. Teachers are required to provide grades for their students, so teachers are really required to compute grades. Now I'm going to demonstrate the stress-free way of computing grades using the VLOOKUP in the Microsoft Excel. As you can see in the screen, the scores of my students are encoded on the Microsoft Excel with their scores in quizzes, long tests, and activities. Also, the different weight of each written activity, like quizzes here. So this is 25% of the grade, long test, 25% of the grade. Total activities is 50% of the grade. And then the last column here is the final grade. So what I'm going to demonstrate to you is how to sum up the score from each written output. And then as we get the total score, we will transmute each total score to its equivalent grade. So that's the time that we're going to use VLOOKUP. After doing so, we will get 25% for the quiz, 25% for the long test, and then 50% for the totals for the activities. And then we will sum up to come up with the final grade. So the reason why we use transmutation table is to come up with a score of zero not equivalent to zero percent so in here we are using the 65 base transmutation table so a score of zero is equivalent to 65 percent while a perfect score of 100 is equivalent to 100 percent now if you have a different transmutation like so i intentionally come up with a total perfect score from each activity like the total perfect score for the quiz is 100, the total perfect score for the long test is 100, as well as the total perfect score for the activity is 100. Now, if you have different transmutation from each written output, so you may encode the other different transmutation. So in my demonstration, I will just make use of one transmutation and each activity here has a perfect score equivalent to 100. So we're going to transmute each score, which has, um, which is over 100. Okay, let me erase this part first before we begin. So the first thing that we're going to do is to calculate the total score from each activity, from each written output. So for instance here, we're going to calculate the total score of the quiz. So we will start by encoding equals so when we encode equal this would mean that we will be working on a formula we will do the computation and since we're going to calculate the sum so we will include encode sum and then open parentheses now we're going to consider the the cell range of what we're going to add like we're going to add 20 24 23 and 24, which is the total score of the first student. So we can drag it until we reach quiz number four, or that represents B2, cell B2 until cell E2. And the, the colon here would represent the range. So this is from B2 colon up to E2. And then close parenthesis, press enter. So the total score of the first student is 91 from the quizzes. For us to, to copy the formula, we will just drag this down until the bottom. So we were able to copy the formula. Okay, so it's the same way. We will also calculate the sum of the long test. So we'll encode equal sign and then sum, open parenthesis. So this is from I2 until J2 until until cell j2 and then enter so we'll copy the formula to calculate the total score of the rest of the students by dragging it down and then lastly we're going to calculate the total sum from the activity so equals again and then sum open parenthesis so we're going to calculate the sum from cell n2 until cell Q2, and then close parenthesis, enter. To copy the formula, drag it down. 
So we were able to calculate the total score. The next thing that we're going to do is to transmute each score to an equivalent grade. So that's the time that we're going to use the VLOOKUP. And this is, again, encode equals. And then encode VLOOKUP. VLOOKUP. And then open parentheses. So we're going to transmit 91 in that cell F2. And then comma. So we're going to transmute this from a score of what total score of 100. So we, we're going to copy cell W2 until cell X37 and then comma comma true close parenthesis now for us to copy the formula up to the last student we will insert the dollar symbol in between w2 which is the lower boundary of the transmutation and then another dollar symbol between the upper boundary of the transmutation here and then press enter so 91 here is equal to 91 percent which is right and then just drag down to transmute the other score so we will do it the same way with the long test so equals and then v look up, open parentheses, and then press the score that we want to transmute it, and that's located from cell K2, comma, and then go back again to the transmutation, so that's from cell W2 until cell X38. It's here, uh, rather 37. And then comma, true, comma, comma, two, comma, true. And then close parentheses. So we will insert again the dollar symbol here and then here. Enter. And then to copy the formula, just drag it down. So we will do it also here with the activities. So equals V lookup, open parentheses, and then we're going to transmute this score, and this is cell R2, comma, and then we're going to consider the transmutation table. Okay, and then comma, two comma through close parenthesis now you will see the formula also here so this is exactly what i am typing and then we will press or we will enter the dollar symbol here also the dollar symbol here and then enter and then copy the formula until the last row so we were able to transmute the grades so the last thing that we're going to do is to get the 25% of the equivalent grade here, for instance. So this is equals the equivalent grade times 0.25, which is 25% of the grade. So we got 23 and then drag it down. So do, the, do this also with long test. So equals and then the equivalent grade 92 times 0.25 there and then lastly here equals so that's times 0.5 this time and then drag down now we're going to sum up the scores for us to get the 
final grade. So that's equals sum. So this is cell H2. So we have cell H2 here plus cell M2 and then plus cell T2 there. So the sum of the three will be the final grade. Now, we want to round off the final grade to the nearest whole number. So we will be adding um, some formula here. So from the sum here, we will encode round and then open parentheses. From the close parentheses here, we will include comma and then zero. That means that we are rounding off the value to the whole number and then close parenthesis, enter. So that grade is already rounded off to whole number. So when you expand this column, so it's 93. You will not see any decimal value after the unit digits 93. And then copy the formula. So we are able to calculate the grades easily without experiencing any stress. So I hope you are able to understand how I was able to demonstrate grade computation using VLOOKUP and in Microsoft Excel. Happy computing!